Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 4 with another team adventure. This one all about the vans. Well, this is the vans and utility section, basically, which means there are transits, there are Pandoras, there's a couple of pickups. I mean, there's me with a pickup Volkswagen. In fact, I think I'm the only one. Ah, I'm the only one with a double cap. Uh, <laughs> but there's all sorts of uh, different, uh, different weird contraptions in this. Now, there are two ways to build your car for this, because it's B-Class. You either have a thousand horsepower and terrible tyres, or you have about 300 horsepower and good tyres. I have 300 horsepower and good tyres, which means down this straight, things are probably not going to be so good for me. I do have all-wheel drive, uh, which is quite nice, and the double cab isn't the heaviest vehicle you get here. At £2,700, it's not too bad compared to transits. Uh, my hope is uh, that it'll be very good through the corners. Uh, which, by the looks of it, it, it is. Uh, we are starting all the way down at the back, so I have a lot of work to be doing here. Uh, try and carve our way up through the order. On the dirt, I should be very, very good. That's the hope, at least. If I'm not really good at the dirt, I'm in trouble. There will be other vehicles on rally tyres, I have no doubt. Uh, I am going to run out of top speed. That much is for sure. We'll go underneath another Captain El Camino, but I know that thing has crazy levels of power. Uh, we'll get around... There. The, the El Camino is just about undrivable on this circuit. One of the blue cars did look like it missed a checkpoint. Um, Engine-wise in this, of course, I'm not using the standard engine, as you can probably hear. I mean, you can probably tell by the fact that it's got 270 horsepower. It's not the standard engine. Uh, I have got the 2.0-litre flat 4 in It's not the turbo. I'd love the turbo rally, but that way, way too much PI. Just the normal 2.0-litre flat 4. Uh, currently, we have a red car leading the way uh, with Vandura. That Sandman is not going to make the corner. We are up into a third position. That now puts us ahead of blue team. It's close. Looking at points at the moment, it is rather close looking. Uh, that Vandura looks very fast. Now, it could well be a vehicle that is almost specialist to tarmac, for all I know. I doubt you'd go race tyres, but maybe someone's mad enough to try it. Uh, you could throw it again. It's one of those sort of throw it a curveball and hope for the best, given the right sort of circuits, maybe it would work. I seem to outturn the transit ahead of us here. Uh, that may well be on rally tyres as well, just a little bit heavier uh, than me. Uh, I have decent sized tyres in this. It's not the largest tyres I've ever driven, I think about 255s. It's not terrible for this category though. Uh, Scotty's actually done quite a good job getting up through the field with me in this one, because we both started down at the very back. So me and the Sandman, you know, have climbed our way through the order. Can we find a way past Longbow? So oh, I hit that kerb. Oh, I'd hope this might be. So the kerb at turn one here is funny. I swear I never used to have a problem with it, but the more different vehicles I drive, the more vehicles I find that do have a problem with the kerb there. You kind of hit the hit the kerb and it just pushes the vehicle out wide. It's a bit of a pain, really. Um, I'd love to be a smidge lighter. <laughs> I'd love to be a bit lighter. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'd love to be, love to be a little bit faster uh, in general with this. Uh, I can kind of cut across there. That seems to be the corner that I make the most time up out of. We seem pretty even everywhere else. To be fair, our top four don't really seem to be changing much in terms of positions, in terms of gaps between us. I have caught Longbow a little bit these final couple of corners. Uh, sit in the slipstream of the van. We know the draft does work a little bit in Forza. Uh, it's, not as Im it's not as impressive as GT5. It's not the biggest uh, benefit, but you will gain a little bit of speed. Uh, and I would expect the transit punches a big old hole in the air. Well, I'm not exactly, you know, but this thing here is about the worst aerodynamic shape you could ask a vehicle to be. Uh, <laughs> even even more so than the Transit. I cannot get past. I don't know where I'm going to pass the Transit. If it's going to happen, it's going to surely happen. Uh, well, it's just, just a little bit of sort of slow-mo lag going on. It's going to happen, it's going to be at this corner, but Longbow could just defend it. And again, it's such a small braking zone. But I don't know how... Maybe if I can get a really good exit... We could draw alongside, which we're going to do. However, Longbow's going to be in the prime position to defend the final turn. And I will not... I mean, I have the grip, but that's just, they can't get the speed on the outside. I don't have enough grip to make that work. We get the acceleration down towards turn one. Could we make this work? No, not quite. Longbow will probably go defensive. Doesn't think that I'm going to have a big dive. A little bit of the jitters not helping. Okay, Longbow clears the fence, but I can't get underneath there. We're going to have to look for a way past... Oh, no. <laughs> that actually might have cost me a chance here. Although Longbow's then slid out of the next corner. That is good news for the double cab. Uh, can we have a look? 
any which way here. Uh, can we try and get underneath through this corner? We do. Ah, oh, we get the fence. We get the fence and the post. Uh, Longbow goes very defensive through there, so we still get a very good run. Oh, this is the run we needed! This is absolutely the run we needed, because now we can hold the transit out wide. Now, we can just stop, hold the transit. Oh, the transit's trying to duck underneath. It might not have the run to the line. I know it's quicker than me top end, but it's not quicker initial acceleration. Good, good try from Longbow. In the end, we will claim second. Will the game actually give it to us? No, it didn't. <laughs> we got second, Longbow got third. Our uh, blue team, and blue team actually win the adventure because of that, unless a position changes. That is the first time a screwed up finishing position has sadly ruined the result of an adventure. Yeah, that should be eight, uh, 1850 to us to 1800. Um, damn. That is unfortunate. We fought hard for that. Uh, we found a way past. We fended off Longbow out of the final corner, and the game still screwed us anyway. That is a shame. Victory should go to us. Hopefully it won't ruin the entire adventure. A close, at the end of the day, a fun battle. A fun battle, a fun race. Shame Forza forgets how to count. So, race number two. We head to where I should be probably quite good. We're off-road. Admittedly, this might not be my best off-road circuit. Highland Farm Scramble is pretty fast. Ooh, we start on pole. That I quite like. Oh uh, yeah, we start on pole, we're all-wheel drive. We don't have the most power. This isn't the worst circuit for the power machines, of which there are various ones around, uh, because it is quite a lot of long straights. If you don't have enough power, you can be in a little bit of trouble, which is partly what I'm slightly worried about. But we will see. We will see. I don't know who's on who's on rally tyres. Definitely not leather cap. <laughs> I did see the mystery machine is on um, vintage races by the looks of it. And uh, the transit I'm battling with, I don't know. They are generally quite small tyres on those, I believe, but it could be on the rally tyres. We'll see how it grips through here. Oh, that's a horrible place. It looks like it might be on rally tyres if it's gripping like that through there. That's a really unhelpful place to go out of ghost mode. Uh, we shall we shall see. Ah, now the little, the little mini, that could be very fast as well in this one. Uh, the travel lodge, as we've called it. I don't quite know where that started, but that is its official name now. Uh, <laughs> it shall be called the Travel Lodge whenever used. Uh, can I go around the outside there? Nope. Will I duck underneath? Yep. Will that probably do the trick? Uh, we will see. We will see. There's a big bundle of cars further back. Yeah, okay. We are out up to the lead. Longbow's got their transit up into a fourth place. At the moment, red team, we need some more points. At the moment, we do need to get some more points. We need to not miss the checkpoint at turn one. Really, really easy to do around this circuit. Um, we have lost out here. We're long up to third. We get even further back. Good news is, my vehicle I'd hoped would be good here. It is. Pretty good at the tarmac as well. I think we might have safe control. Uh, if we don't do anything stupid, Longbow is probably the bigger threat in this one at the moment. Uh, we'll have to again. We'll have to wait to see how fast that transit is if it gets. If it has now got up to second. Now it's in clean air. Can it chase? Can it chase me down towards the finish line or towards the latter stages of this race? I don't think points-wise we've got much left to give. Uh, unless one of our vehicles turns out to be crazy fast, missed a checkpoint early on and can soar back up through the field. Just looking at the gaps, hmm. <laughs> it's not a good sign for us. It is It is not a good sign for us at all. Uh, I'll just plonk out of the lamppost. Oh, the travel lodge is in the wall at turn one. Turn one is a bit of a nasty corner here. Uh, it's very, very easy. It's very easy to miss a checkpoint too much on the inside. It's very easy to just outbreak yourself. Bumpy. A lot of these cars are quite fast, and probably faster than would normally be suitable uh, to this sort of circuit. Uh, tran I say the, the transit has slightly better top end than me. I have slightly better grip. I think is how it will how it will go down here. So I've got to be spot on through these corners because if I'm not, transit will just beat us down a straight. Uh, it will be very difficult to defend from the transit if it's just going to come flying past. I should. Mm, possibly have put Forza Aero on this. It does slide around a little bit. Um, my lack of power knowing we were going to be in trouble with straight line speed, I thought maybe we could get a little bit more speed out of it. Uh, here comes that transit, yeah. So, oh, Longbow's going to have to go. I'll go. I mean, I can defend this bit. We can try and force the transit 
around the outside because it, my initial drive off the corner is good enough. My that probably accelerates about 90 quicker than the Ford, but it's after that that's when we have trouble. After 90, we get in a lot of pain, and uh, a lot of this circuit, funnily enough, is faster, faster than that. Are we going to have to defend down here? Possibly. This is a much tougher corner to defend. It's a very, very wide corner. I don't think Longbow's close. It's a wide corner with very little in the way of braking zone, so we will carry as much speed through there as we dare and still we have the acceleration at this point to keep ahead of the transit that run this is such a long run to the start finish line here that's where we're going to be in trouble on the final lap I, I mean if I win this if I stay ahead of Longbow and we get screwed by the finishing positions again I'm really not going to be happy we are further away this time a little bit I think Longbow may possibly have bumped the fence through all of that so there we go back into turn one we head the transit's not going to be able to have a dive we will pull clear a little bit down. Me and Longbow are pretty much in a field of our own around this circuit. Uh, Points-wise, it's not going to go to us either way, which is a little bit of a shame. But here we go. Let's try. Keep it as fast as we can through there. A little, maybe a little too wide. Carry a lot of speed through there. We have actually pulled, again, a smidge further away from the transit. This is good news. I've uh, just got to be aware. Oh. Maybe don't end up in the wall. We're fine. It was close. Lombo has caught maybe a little bit through there. I have trying to throw it in with a bit too much speed. Can I goad Longbo into taking out the fence again to be that little bit slower through here? And there was definitely a fence. Plink. <laughs> here comes the transit. It's going to sit on with a bumper. Uh, we'll make it go the long way around here if it wants to. Is Forza actually going to give us the finish this time around? It bloody better. We're across the line. Twice. Twice in a row I have beaten Longbow. I, okay, we're going to give up with scoring on this game. I, that, screw you, Forza. I beat Longbow. We fended off the transit. That is my victory. Uh, it was a good race. We were very much in a class of our own. The Morris Traveller, the Holden Sandman, the other transit, uh, the Vandura, none of them would even remotely keep pace with, with us. Um, thankfully, this time, the points are irrelevant. It doesn't matter. We were going to lose regardless um, <laughs> the Capsel Camino not enjoying these these circuits a bit too much power with a bit too little grip so up next we head to the Moorhead Wind Farm circuit this is not a place that I will enjoy <laughs> pretty much oh I'm also a long way down the field um, yeah we'll probably be quick out of a couple of corners but <laughs> I've not got the power. We're against much, much more powerful machinery. And that hill is going to be the death of me. I mean, you know, it's fair enough. There are some tracks that will work for my car. There are some tracks that won't. Uh, this is one that won't work for the double car. I don't think it's going to be the worst thing in the world here. Um, you know, I, well, there are potential worse vehicles. 270 horsepower B-Class. I have... I have less cars with less, but I think the CRX Mugen is B class with 180. Uh, okay, sure, it's very, very light and everything, but uh, yeah, that might often go to B class. I'm not sure who I'm in ghost mode with and who I'm not anymore. Oh, we're out of ghost mode now. <laughs> it's. Uh, <laughs> that's not quite what you want, but there we go. The Mini might be very, very fast here. Uh, that could work just with so much less weight to have to try and lug up the hills. Uh, I guess I am. Well, I'm not as light as the Mini. I guess I am kind of light in comparison to the vans. Maybe I'll work better at this circuit than I expected. Uh, here comes that El Camino. That thing is going to be so fast. Down towards turn one, it's going to be sketchy as anything. Uh, oh, <laughs> if it can get out of the corners and point in the right direction. Uh, Chris's car might be one of the better vehicles here, to be honest. Uh, oh god, I'm going to get out of the way of the El Camino. Just go. Go, you're on my team. I'm, I can't fight that. Just go. Shoot off into the distance, El Camino of power. Uh, we are not going to deal with you, because I can't, basically. Uh, well, I can deal with you when we get to a corner, but here we go. We are up the inside. We might get up the inside of Speed Beast here as well, because I don't think that transit can carry the same speed that I can. No, it doesn't. Uh, we are up to third. I mean, this is going well for Red Team. About time we got some sort of luck. I'm really surprised I'm, my mine is working as well as it is here. Leather Cap, if you want to go past, I'm all for letting you go past. Uh, <laughs> not gonna. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight that. I mean, there's. I, I know. Oh, I mean, I can fight it in terms of 
stuck underneath it. Again, we want the points here. We want the points for Red Team. Uh, apparently, this is the track that works for us because we are. It's really working for us. There's always something with lud ludicrous power uh, that can vanish. I will just oh, sit. I mean, if we if we get if we get fourth on the track that was likely to be pain for me, I'm not too displeased with that. Really, if we, we can sit fourth on the track that was always likely to be a little bit unhappy for me, uh, I'm not going to be too sad. Hello again. Can I first take a tow rope over the El Camino? <laughs> Spinning its wheels up the hill. Uh, yeah, if, if we could take a tow rope on that, that would be lovely. Look at it go! <laughs> Very sideways El Camino all the way up the hill. Vandura's got itself to the lead. Um, uh, Vandura is working well. Vandura seems to work at the tarmac. Don't know what tyres it might be on. Might be on Vintage Races. Haven't seen it. Uh, Vintage Race with a decent amount of power could probably work as well for a decent lap time around these tarmac circuits. Uh, for me, yeah. As I said, I knew this was going to be pain. We've now fallen back a little. We've fallen back a little too far to watch the El Camino with slidiness uh, wander away. We might still catch it through like two corners. All it takes is two corners. Oh, okay. Well, maybe not if I do that. I'm going to have to start worrying about the cars behind us. At least if we get screwed over by finishing positions, um, it doesn't matter because this time it won't take the, the win away from us because we should have more than enough points to still win. I don't much the, the Mark One Transit probably quite like. Just, I was got distracted thinking about the weight of respective vehicles. Uh, that's also probably going to be a fairly light van. In the grand scheme of things, just so much older. Uh, <laughs> Mini's having a look at the inside. Yeah, you're not going to... Much like I fought the El Camino briefly, you're going to fight it until it gets going down the hill. God knows what speed that thing's doing by the end of the hill. A lot. A lot of miles an hour is what's going on with that. Oh, we've had, oh, our Sandman fell down a little bit. It's currently battling around the 8th place mark. I mean, it's not quite as big of a points haul as, as we could have had, I guess, if we had had uh, other vehicles. Mini, don't screw up the team. Don't mess up the team. There's a time and a place for fighting with a car, and when it's your teammate, and we're going to mess up a 1, 2, 3, 4, now is not the time and the place to fight your teammate. You let your teammate go. Uh, <laughs> let your teammate run into the distance, because you've got to worry about transits. They're the threat. In the grand scheme of things, anyway, they're the threat. Uh, as we head around the final corner for the last time, the El Camino will slither its way out of there. It'd be funny if I got past the Mini. Sadly, I don't. El Camino takes second. It's a 1, 2, 3, 4 for Red Team. Apparently, that circuit really, really worked for our cars. Not what, not what I expected. I didn't expect mine to work that well. Really thought mine was going to struggle around there. Okay, it's not as fast as the Vandura or the El Camino or the Travel Lodge, really. But we still got some solid points. We get a victory! We should have had two, but at least that's something. So, we head next to the Tarn Hell's Scramble Circuit. Now, I am genuinely quite concerned about falling over. That could well be something that we see happen here. Um, there, there is quite the chance of a tumble. It's quite a chance to tumble with a normal car, let alone with a very, very tall um, vehicle. <laughs> so, I say very tall. It's tall, it's quite thin, it's, yeah, might wobble over. Uh, while I do have a good grid spot, oh, we, we are, yeah, we're, we've got the Vandura and Transit ahead of us. Uh, the Vandura is pretty decent off the line, but we know it's probably not quite as quick on the dirt. Uh, I presume the Transit might be all-wheel drive? I'm not sure. Uh, the Vandura, I'm going to guess, isn't on rally tyres. Uh, probably. Yeah, okay, so I don't, don't think the Vandura is on rally tyres. That would explain its power and its speed on the tarmac stuff. Uh, we will come shooting past there. Now, can we run away from the transit? Our El Camino, that while it had fun at the previous circuit won't enjoy life here. Um, oh, no, don't go too far over there. That's how we rolled before. There is... Well, a slight concern is that we don't... I don't think our team really has the best off-road cars. And the problem is, while we should have had a, a win in round one, if blue team win this, they win the adventure. Which... <laughs> I don't know if we can defend from that. The only thing I can do is win the race, and win the race by enough that Forza can't screw up the finishing positions. I have a big enough gap back to Longbow 
that uh, it doesn't screw up the finishing positions again. If it does it three times in a row, I will not be happy, but we're not going to be able. Sadly, we have obviously not got the off-road vehicles to do this. Um, with the current, with three of our cars, 10th, 11th and 12th, the only way we can win this round is a 1-2-3. That's it. That's the only possible outcome that can that can give us a victory here. We'd need to get a 1-2-3, which we're not going to get because I'm the only one on our team, really, with a full off-road car, I think. Uh, there might be well, I say that, it's got to be the only one with a full off-road car, because <laughs> uh, none of the others are able to compete even with the blue, the blue non-off-road car. So, yeah. It falls to me to win the rally races. But that won't be enough. Unless we get some luck further back, really. We need some blue cars to miss checkpoints. That's probably going to be the only thing that, uh, that we can have. Oh, okay. Come on, around we go, and still carry as much speed as we dare. Do I get brave? Do I risk it? Don't actually seem to hit the curb or bobble it at all uh, through there, which is good. Oh, a little bit of frame rate jitters, which is not too helpful, I guess. I have a feeling this is going to go. Longbow doesn't even need to pass. All Longbow needs to do is just be behind on that run to the finish line, and Longbow will probably be given the win by the game. I, mean, I watched as we launched and we did not get... So the finishing position, just in case you haven't seen Forza Team Adventure stuff before, or Forza Races in general, the finishing position glitch is to do with lag, basically. The game releases cars at slightly wrong times by a few tenths, possibly, on the grid. So I might get released slightly before somebody else or something along those lines. Um, now, we saw we were behind Longbow on the grid and we both got released pretty much identically there. If, uh, if the game is going to screw up with the old finishing positions on that one, it's just, yeah. <laughs> it will not be good. I will not be happy if that is the case. Uh, I mean, we're doing um, some points. We've got fourth and fifth, which I guess isn't too bad for us that are in a weaker, a weaker event. But it's just, you know, we've got cars that just don't work on the dirt, which is fine. But when you have two of them... Um, blue team don't really have any cars not working on the dirt. We just can't score enough points here. Now, the adventures are always made with two off-road events and three tarmac races, so you can't win purely on off-road. Although blue team might technically be given this one uh, entirely because of an off-road. <laughs> we will see how it goes. We might even get to lap leather cap at the rate we're going. That alchemy, I mean, you saw how fast it was. We might get to lap that purely because that's on probably standard tyres with way too much power and we're on dirt. That thing is never going to enjoy life around here. And this is one of the nastier... I mean, this and Ambleside are the nastiest circuits. This one, you're more likely to lap cars on purely because of a slightly longer lap than Ambleside. Uh, well, even if Ambleside is that smidge bit more technical, uh, we carry so much speed through there. Longbow is close, but not going to be close enough, I don't think, to really do much. Uh, <laughs> Hell, I mean, it keeps out of the way. Yeah. I mean, that's going to be a that's going to be a dump. It is going to be a dump for the El Camino, but got its second place on the mad, mad tarmac circuit game. Please don't screw me over this time. I know I'm half decent this final corner. I might be better than the Transit as well through here if I don't oversteer my way there. Uh, the Transit's trying to get up the inside. Will it actually have mattered? What's the point? So, we move on to the final race, which I might as well not bother run and just give Longbow whatever position I might be fighting if I happen to be anywhere near. Um, we start in second for our team, which it looks like we are probably going to be fighting uh, because we are starting fairly close on the grid. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the point is. Um, I'm going to say whichever team wins this is going to be the team that wins the round because we should have two wins apiece. Uh, we're going to have to make up our own scoring at this rate because fours is useless. Uh, we know the Vandura is pretty good on the tarmac. Now, this has some slow speed stuff where my all-wheel drive and better tyres may work. I don't think that's going to be enough to beat the power of the Vandura. We will have to wait and see. It's like here where we might be better. 
Uh, certainly off of this next hairpin is where we might be better as well. Um, I've got to be careful with the curve. The rolling might give us problems. I say roll. It's not going to roll, but um, it will go on two wheels. You will probably lose some time uh, through that. The El Camino of Power probably won't enjoy this track as much as Moorhead. Um, it's not the worst place in the world for it, but it's not exactly great. Uh, sadly, we do need some points coming in from somewhere. Me and Chris can run a 1-2 as much as we like. Uh, if nobody else is scoring points, it won't work. Uh, oh, Bandura drops all the street furniture. Thankfully, that doesn't slow me down too much. It seems like Blue Team have transit trying to ruin our day. Oh, God, there's a gear in there somewhere. They are probably the biggest threat. Uh, we need some more points. Uh, in the yeah, in the end, we're going to need a lot more than we have currently got. I don't know where they're going to come from. Bugger, I cannot catch. So the Vandura is just a bit too good at the tarmac. Fair enough. I mean, let's say fair enough. That is working, working better. I thought I might be a little faster on the tarmac with this setup, but I guess just a lack of power from me does kind of kill it. And the Vandura isn't too... But we've seen Vanduras be pretty good uh, in the past in general. They can actually work surprisingly well. The Transits aren't enjoying life around here as much, perhaps, as I say, as much as I was expecting in this one. Uh, I mean, Longbow will probably still end up finishing ahead of me, but the transits in general are not enjoying life all that much. But yeah, we can't. We won't score enough points. Again, we've got the three cars at the back that uh, are just not going to score enough points for us to, I guess, recover up here. As I said, you need a one, two, three if you're going to have three cars back. Leathercat might out-accelerate something to the finish line, depending on where that El Camino is in the grand scheme of things, but there is no guarantee about that, and I've got a multicoloured uh, transit hanging around behind us, so I can't really do too much crazy. We'll have to defend. I think the only thing for the transit is it's quick. It's just not quite fast enough to find a way past. You can stay with... But, and this is not an easy circuit to overtake either, you get very little in the way of chances. Uh, here, for example, is a tiny braking zone just to tap on the brake and then you're through the corner. Uh, we have run a little bit wide. If the, <laughs> I was going to say, if the Transit can carry better speed than me, it could maybe try up the inside, but uh, like on the exit there if I'm going to be that wide, but it couldn't. Uh, we will then again through the next corner, not going to be close enough. Uh, maybe at the hairpin, if it gets a good run up the hill, but now it's too far back to try anything there. Uh, in fact, maybe may, may made a slight mess of turn one and being a little bit slow through all that sequence. Uh, there we go, on to the back straight, watch out for falling street furniture. Uh, Chris hasn't had the fastest first part of the lap, but the Vandura's power will carry it away. In fact, we have had a good lap here. We are well out of the way of the transit, which is... I can say is nice. Uh, oh, helium missed a checkpoint. Okay, well that might give us half a chance, although we need a bit more than half a chance. That's a blue car losing a lot of points. Gives us some more. Still not there, sadly. Still not quite working. Around the final corner we head. One more lap to go here. I'd be curious to know lap times between me and uh, Vandura. I think the Vandera is slightly faster, but not by all that much. Not by all that much at all. Uh, if I get a good lap, this is. Uh, oh, there we go. That's all neat and tidy through there. Uh, we are maybe safe from Vandera Brigade. A uh, little bit of two-wheel. Don't miss the checkpoint there. That's uh, <laughs> just slightly... Oh, I wanted to try and sort of cut really close to the inside, but do not miss the checkpoint on the final lap, you Muppet. Uh, it's an important thing. Uh, so we had to kind of dive a little bit out of the uh, out of the racing line slightly. It was so it's not going to be a great final lap. The Vanduras had a big slide through there, which I saw as an opportunity, and then carried a bit too much speed myself and brushed the wall. Uh, well, I think in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to be enough here. The double cab is not too bad, certainly. In fact, it deserves. Technically speaking, we should have had two wins, two seconds. And a fourth. Which is not bad. Which is not bad for a points-getting car. Sadly, 
we had other vehicles that just didn't quite work at some of the circuits. The Travel Lodge apparently really... I'm surprised the Travel Lodge didn't enjoy this track. Uh, but there we go. Just too much power. Not enough control, I guess. Uh, the double cab is good. The van's had some really, really fun races. Ruined by Forza's inability to count uh, on, on some finishing positions. But there we go. Not quite enough. Not quite enough for Red Team. Uh, even with the 1-2 at the end there. That is going to be it for this video. If you would like to take part in the next one of these, uh, you can sign up on our forums. There'll be a link in the description. Find the Ferris versus the community section, and you can yeah, sign up to take part in there. That, though, shall be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.